Welcome! My name is Gekasha. I am 17 years old. I am a World Oceans Day Youth Advisory Council member living in Toronto. First of all, thank you for supporting the ocean by celebrating World Oceans Day. This is a time for people around our blue planet to celebrate and honor the ocean, which connects us all. Working together, we can and will protect our shared ocean. Today, I'm going to introduce our lesson plan on stopping plastic pollution so that you can use this resource to engage and educate your friends, neighbors, and anyone else around you about this very important issue. This lesson was designed with youth in mind, and we hope that young people will use this resource to teach their peers and community members about plastic pollution, inspire them with solutions, and empower them by doing an activity. It is easy to follow and can be done from anywhere. Plastic pollution has become a major threat in our environment and is taking over our ocean. The ocean is home to a large diversity of life, including a variety of animals and plants, and we rely on it for oxygen and food. Did you know every other breath you take comes from the ocean? Thankfully, there are a lot of people working to stop plastic pollution from harming the ocean, and many of them are our age or even younger. I would like to share my story with you. I started my work when I was eight years old in Dubai, going around the neighborhood to talk to shop owners, neighbors, and children about the need to stop using plastic. And together with local youth, I started collecting waste and recycling materials, cleaning our beaches and mangroves. My local actions got the attention of the authorities and I was invited to attend the 2011 United Nations Tunza Children and Youth Conference in Bandung, Indonesia, where, as an 11-year-old, I spoke at the children's plenary on how they could make a difference in conserving the planet. This means we don't have to wait until we are adults and we don't have to become scientists to make a difference. Plastic pollution is a problem that can't wait, and we as youth can come together to solve it now. This lesson and all its details can be found on the World Oceans Day website at www.worldoceansday.org slash lesson dash plan dash resources. Think about your audience. This lesson works best if you teach directly to your peers or kids that are a little younger than you. Ages 11 to 18 will work best, but there are resources you can choose for both younger and older groups. Make sure you consider your audience when choosing your resources and thinking about the narrative. Also consider the size of your group and make sure you're prepared with enough materials if you're handling anything out of the group. The goal of this lesson is to provide an introduction to plastic pollution, discuss solutions, and inspire action. By the end of the lesson, the group should understand how plastic pollution is harming the ocean and what they can do to be a part of the solution. But more than that, they should be inspired to make changes in their lifestyle and actively contribute towards solutions. Follow the steps in this resource. Start with a local success story, then address the problem. Choose a few facts to share with the group from the fact sheet to highlight the urgency and scope of the problem. If you're speaking to younger kids, the survey is a great activity to use. The plastic jellyfish activity can be used to show how plastic bags can easily look like jellyfish in the water, which is why sea turtles can accidentally eat them. Do some research. Find out what is being done in your community to solve plastic pollution and see if there is a way you can use the lesson to enhance those initiatives. 
share some solutions. No matter where we live, we can each be a part of the solution. After this, open it up for discussion. Use the sample discussion questions in the worksheet or discussion starter to get people thinking. Then it's time for action. Decide on one or two activities and you can follow up on the progress after a month. Submit your own lesson to the World Ocean Day website and share it widely on social media. You can use this lesson any time of the year, but we encourage you to plan for around World Oceans Day, which is held on June 8th every year. And you can hold it anywhere, in your school classroom, aquarium, zoo, museum, park, business, club meeting, or perhaps you can join a World Oceans Day event near you. If you really want to stay involved, start a committee at your school where you can work together on projects throughout the year. Join Youth for the Ocean to connect with youth around the world and learn about exciting opportunities to join global initiatives. It all starts with simple solutions. Remember, our future is in our hands. Our generation is the last one that has the opportunity of saving our oceans before it's too late. So let us all join hands and start taking actions. Together, let us change the world.